Where am I now? Hi, now you are at High Tech Architecture Era. High Tech Architecture Era? Was this in late 1970? What I know, High Tech was a development in British modernist architecture from the late 1960s. Yes, you are true. High Tech was a concept of design that based on engineering, construction, and other aspects such as the manipulation of space. It is described as categorization of transition from modernism architecture to postmodernism architecture. Wow, that interesting. Is it true that High Tech prefer for lightweight materials and sure surface? Yes, you are brilliant. High-tech architecture is a readiness to adopt new technique from engineering. Did you know anything about the characteristic of high-tech architecture? I have heard about their use flexible interior, which is open plan with the ability to partial unnecessary and colored pipework and services. It is for delineate structure part and area. Okay, let me add more. They are also used as precious construction such as beam and cable that visually display it. Since you are like know everything, did you know the prominent architect of high tech architecture? Is it Lucio Costa and Oscar Nemea? No, there is architect from international style era. The architect from high tech architecture is Norman Broster, Nicholas Grimshaw, and Sir Richard Roger. Here is example of high tech building. Oh, that interesting. Because you already mentioning about international style era, I will send you to my friend. Oh, okay. Wait. What? Hello? Anyone there? It is International Style Era. Yes, I will explain to you about this era. Yes, please. I went back to my place. International style is an architecture style that developed in Europe and United States in 1920 and 30. It's become dominant tendency in Western architecture during the middle decade of the 20th century. If the term international style was first used in 1922 to describe architects associated with the modern movement whose design shared familiar visual qualities. Yes. It is to describe rectilinear form, undecorated, asymmetrical, and wide. This term was coined by Henry Russell Hitchcock and architect Philip Johnson. That was interesting information. Can I know the characteristics of international style? Okay, let me tell you about the characteristic. They use rectilinear form, plain surface that are completely devoid of applied ornamentation, open, and fluids. Interior space, flat roof, visually weightless construction, and use glass for facade and steel for exterior support. So, from what you're telling me, I can conclude that the principal design for international style is architecture as volume. Thin planes or surface create the building form. It is opposite to a solid mass. Second, the regularity in the facade, and last, not applied ornament, right? Yes, here are some prominent architecture for additional information. Wow, there was lots of interesting knowledge. Can I go back to my world? Yes, 
you can. And don't forget to tell the other about our era.